Hi there, my friends, and welcome to Live Like a Berry, where we read stories together. Today's book is called Duck and Goose Go to the Beach by Tad Hills. Are you ready? Let's go! Don't you just love it here, duck? Goose honked. The two friends relaxed in the early morning sun and listened to the hum of the meadow. Butterflies flitted and grass swished into the breeze. Yes, I do, Duck agreed. Let's never leave, said Goose. Suddenly, Duck jumped up. You just gave me the greatest idea, Goose, he quacked. Let's leave. Let's go away. A what? Goose honked. Away. Let's take a trip. I wonder where they're going. Goose gulped. A trip? A trip sounds far away. I like close. We could go on an adventure, Duck said. An adventure? That sounds scary, Goose honked. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fun, my friends. Come on, Goose. A hike might be fun, Duck quacked. A hike, said Goose. That sounds like a fine way to twist your ankle. Oh, Goose, hiking is lots of fun. Duck sighed. <sighs> he gazed across the meadow toward a distant hill and began walking. Goose followed. I will walk, but I will not hike, he grumbled. It's kind of the same thing, my friends. Why would anyone want to leave this meadow? Goose wondered aloud. It has everything right here. I like this stump, this hollow log, the gurgling stream, our ball, of course, the lily pond, and don't forget the shady thicket. Duck and Goose floated along a stream they'd never floated along before. They're exploring. They walked by a pile of stones they'd never walked by before and passed the biggest tree they'd ever seen. They walked across fields and up and down hills. By the time Goose reached the top of the highest hill, Duck was already gazing off into the distance. What's that? He quacked. What? What can you see? Could it be the beach? Goose honked. Duck's tail twitched with excitement. I'm pretty sure I love the beach. You've been to the beach? Asked Goose. Have you been to the beach, my friends? No, not yet, said Duck. And he took off down the hill. Oh, look, he's running. Follow me, Goose. We're going to the beach. Goose chased after Duck. But Duck, we already had our adventure, he called. Well, maybe this is part of the adventure, Duck. Or Goose? I think I got that one wrong. Wait, he shouted. Slow down, he honked. But Duck did not slow down. It's just too exciting. Goose followed him through the rambles and tall grass until finally Duck stopped. I think we have arrived at the beach, said Duck. Oh my, the beach is loud, yelled Duck over the sound of the waves. I can barely hear my own quack. Goose stared at the vast stretch of sky and sand and sea. Isn't it magnificent, he said. Oh dear, the beach has so much water, Quack Duck. I feel tiny. Have you ever seen so much sand? Honked Goose. And my friends, that sand gets everywhere. It's getting in my feathers and it's too hot on my feet, said Duck. Let's go. Go swimming? Good idea, Duck, said Goose, and he raced to the water's edge. No, Goose, wait for me. Duck dipped his hot feet in the water. Goose, you know these waves are very... These waves are very fun? Is that what you were going to say, Duck? Honked Goose. Oh, no, 
not exactly. Oh, I think they are fun. We just have to be careful, right? And be safe. The two friends strolled along the beach. They met the locals. Some were friendly and others were not. Oh, that looks like an angry crab. Oh. Goose thought Duck might enjoy searching for sea creatures under rocks and seaweed. He did not. Be careful, Goose. You don't know what's in there, Duck quacked. Oh, look, are they building a sand castle? They built a drip castle. You know what that is, my friends. It's when you wet some sand and then you let it drip off of your fingers or off of your hand or your bucket until it forms a structure like a castle. It looks amazing. Now, what are they doing? Are they listening to a seashell? And they listened to the gentle roar of the ocean from deep within a seashell. It made Duck homesick. It sounds like a gurgling stream, he quacked. Later in the day, when the sand had cooled and the waves had settled, Duck and Goose relaxed. I like the smell of the beach, Goose said. Me too, Duck agreed, but not as much as the meadow. Well, there's no place like the meadow, honked Goose. That's very true, said Duck. That's true, my friends, there's no place like home. So, in the late afternoon, Duck and Goose followed their long shadows home. They talked about the exciting day and about the friends they'd met. They talked about the hot sand and the cool water, the noise, crashing waves, and the quiet tidal pools. Back in the meadow at last, they watched the sunset. Birds sang and grass swished in the breeze. Oh, sounds lovely. They both agreed it was nice to be home. Duck, where should we go next? Goose asked. Duck closed his eyes. How about to sleep? Oh, funny, funny duck. That sounds lovely at the end of a good hard day when you've had so much fun playing in the sun. Don't forget to play like a berry, read like a berry, and live like a berry. Goodbye!